Windows 11 driving you crazy. Yeah, me too, but I found something that actually works. Look, Microsoft isn't going to fix the things that annoy us most. So I spent weeks testing every app I could find and these three free apps completely transformed my Windows 11 experience. No bloatware, no subscriptions, just three simple downloads that make Windows 11 actually usable. Real quick, if this helps you out, smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss future tips. I've also dropped all the download links in the description below, so check those out. All right, let's jump right into apps app number one. And the app number one is actually Windhawk. Now what Windhawk actually does, it allows Windows 11 users to customize Windows like never before. And let me show you how it works in the action. So pretty much here, for example, you can install a few of the modifications. Here I have installed Windows 11 Start Menu Styler as well as Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. Now, if I go here under the details, we can go here under the settings and under the theme here, we can pick whatever theme we prefer. For example, if you want to make your taskbar completely transparent, we can use this feature called Simply Transparent. Click on Save Settings and now you can see here that there is no more background behind the taskbar. But we can go even further. We can go here down below and here we can pick even, for example, Windows XP style. We can click on Save Settings and this is how the taskbar actually right now looks like. Now, my favorite one is here down below. For example, this one right here, it's called Windows Glass. Click on Save Settings. Now, this one is very much inspired by the liquid glass design from Apple, and I think it does look super, super well. Now, what Windhawk can actually do also is this thing right here. It's called Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. And what this one will do, it will allow us to customize Start Menu as well. Now, make sure that you install it and let's go here to the settings. And under the theme, you will find plenty of the themes to pick from. For example, we can go with this one. It's called Window Glass. So this one is also inspired by the liquid glass design from Apple. Let's click here on Save Settings and let's go here to the Start Menu. And this is how the Start Menu right now looks like. Now, in my opinion, it's night and day compared to the default look. This one, in my opinion, looks way better. Now, there's also another modification, which is called Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. So you can find it pretty much here on the Explore page. And what this one will do, it will also allow us to customize the Notification Center as well. So pretty much here, click on Install button and here, click on this button as well. Wait for a few seconds until it finishes installing. And remember, this is how the Notification Center here looks like. Like, we can go here to the settings and under the theme, pick different one. For example, we can go with this one as well, window glass, click on save settings. And now if we open here the notification center, this is what it actually looks like right here. However, here we also have the alternative. We can click on this one, click on save settings, and now we can click here. Now this one does look a bit different and even better than before. So yeah, pretty much this is how you guys can use the Windhawk on your computer. Make sure that you install this modifications, which I highly recommend. So Windows 11 taskbar styler, then we have the start menu styler and also notification center styler. Now let me show you how you guys can also install Windhawk on your computer. What you will have to do here is to go to the Windhawk website and click on the download button and you will get the exe file and then pretty much open it from your downloads folder and install it like you would any other program. And one thing to keep in mind, this program will also run in the background so we can see here the icon of Windhawk in the system tray. By the way, guys, if you need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description down below. Now let's go to the next app. And this one is called Flow Launcher. And this is the Flow Launcher in the action. So here it will open this input field and here we can search for the applications. We can open websites. We can even open files specifically. So for example, here I'm gonna search for Google and we can click here and this will open my default web browser and it will also open the Google website. But this is not all. Flow Launcher can be used for even many things. For example, we can open here File Explorer. You can see here that it showed the recommendation and here is the File Explorer. We can also calculate things, for example, two minus two. And we can see here that it's zero. And here down below, we can also find some of the suggestions. For example, if you click here on S, it will 
only search for the Windows settings. As you can see here, there are a ton of the Windows settings options. For example, we can go here to the personalization. So for example, this one, we can click on enter and we will go straight to this category. So personalization, and I think it works super, super well. Now we can also go here to the flow settings. So if you right click on it, you can go here to the settings option. And then here inside the flow settings, we can go to the plugins option. And here you can pretty much see what flow actually offers. For example, as I said before, you can calculate things. You can go to the explorer, plugin indicator. Then we have programs, kill processes, URLs, web searches, Windows settings. And then here we can go to the plugin store as well. And what this option will do, so plugin store will allow us to install a few more of the plugins for our flow launch. So not only the websites, but you can also see here, for example, you can use the option for the weather. We can go here also to the Steam account switcher, browser history, maybe even wallpaper changer. And then we have here screen brightness options and then shortcuts and many others as well. So for example, we can try one more. So here, if I go to the plugin store, we can click on the weather, click on install and click on yes here. Then we can just wait for a few seconds. And now if I go here under the plugins, we can see here that we have weather enabled. So for example, we can go right now to the flow launcher and search for the weather. We can click on enter here and it will open our weather app as well. So pretty much use the plugin store here to install many more functionalities for the flow launcher like weather and many others as well. Now we can also customize its appearance if you want to. You can see here that the current theme is selected to Windows 11. But here we have a few of the presets. For example, we can go with the Ubuntu one. And now if I open here, the low launcher, you can see that it looks a bit different. And then here we can also go, for example, with the Discord dark. We can once again open it. And you can see here that right now the text color is actually changed and the UI as well. So pretty much here you can pick whatever option you prefer from the presets. And then here we can change the backdrop type. Here we also have the sound effects and also animation. Let me show you guys how the flow launcher actually sounds like. And then here we also have the hotkey. So pretty much to activate the flow launcher, you guys can use this default one, which is all plus space hotkey. However, you guys can also change it to whatever you like. And we can here, for example, click on shift plus space. And right now we have the shift plus space shortcut for the flow launcher. You can pick whatever you prefer here. And now if I click on shift plus space on my keyboard, you can see here that the flow launcher actually opens. And to pretty much install the flow launcher on your computer, you guys will go here to this website site, which I will also put a link for in the video description down below. Click on the download and here I recommend that you get the option with the installer. Click on it and you should get the exe file and install it like it would any other program. And now let's go here to the third application. Now let me show you what it actually does. So for example, here I have this image and if I click space, we can see here that it opens this simple preview window and it actually shows the contents of the file. Now you don't have to actually open here the photos app to open the image. So this tool actually gives us the functionality to preview the files without actually opening them by clicking on the space bar on our keyboard. So it works super, super well. And you can also use it for many other things like PDFs and many others as well. And this app will actually live here inside the system tray, just like the Windhawk and also the Flow Launcher. So here we have the quick look, we can right click on it and here we can click on find new plugins. And let me show you which plugins you can also install here for the quick look. For example, here we have the PDF viewer, then we have here the APK viewer, folder viewer, torrent viewer, and many others as well. So it's super useful tool to have on Windows 11, for example, Windows 11 out of the box does not actually offer this functionality. So I think it's very useful to have to have this preview file opener as well. So how you guys can install this program, you can go here to the Microsoft store and on top here on the input field, you will search here for the quick look. 
and you can just click on install button to install it on your computer and it works super, super well. So yeah, pretty much this have been three of the apps which actually fix Windows 11 in my personal opinion. So WinHawk for customizing Windows 11 UI. Then we have the Flow Launcher, which opens this input field and you can open whatever from websites to applications to files. And then we have here the Quick Look, which opens the preview of the files without actually opening the app. And I will put every single link for the apps I mentioned in the video description down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, I will see you all around in the next one.